Now we're speaking to Juan Carlos Roncalo de la Vega, who is with the aircraft trading side of Avianca. Thank you so much for sitting to talk with me. Perhaps for our, our viewers, we could start off, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, well, uh, Avianca was founded in 1919. We're actually the oldest airline in the Americas, uh, second in the world after KLM. Um, I work in the aircraft trading division. Um, we actually deal with all the fleet management of the, air, of the airline. From purchasing, planning, financing, to the life of the aircraft uh, within the company, and then, of course, the phase out as well. Um, I am in charge of all the aircraft sales, uh, all the aircraft that we phase out that we own. Uh, I'm in charge of the of the sale projects for them. How, how long have you been? How long has the airline had this kind of group that that handles the let's say phasing out of old airplanes? Okay, this is a very brand new division. Um, it's been the fleet management division has been going on for around six seven years, but the aircraft trading part of it, it it's basically new, maybe three years. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was all something that there was no planning for, actually. Uh, we just started facing out some MD-83s that we had, and the least ones were returned to, to the lessors, while the owned ones, we were like, okay, we need to sell these. And um, I was in charge, actually, of the financing of those aircraft. That's what I did mm -hmm. at, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I w I, I, you could say I was the 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 person that most knew this aircraft from the financial point of view mm -hmm. of them. So I was put in charge of the sales and from, we started from there. Um, we went out to the market to find some uh, other companies which we could work with for consultancy purposes. And we've been working with, with uh, we started formerly BAE and now CapTech uh, working with them uh, for the aircraft sales and that's how it started all developing. We're now a team of four people in the three and a, and a half you could say one person that supports only the the logistical part of it but it's not a hundred percent he's not a hundred percent dedicated mm -hmm. to it but uh, the other three are in the in the part of facing up. Okay. So you, you mentioned that you're getting rid of MD-83s. What else are you getting rid of? The MD-83s were back in 2009. Uh, since then, we've phased out uh, Fokker 100s, 767s, 757s, um, Fokker 50s this year, um, 319s, some of the... So, so where do these ones. airplanes go? I mean, you know, the, we, we, we always think about old airplanes go to the, to the graveyard. But obviously, they, they're useful still to some people. Yes, definitely. Uh, depending on the condition of the aircraft and the aircraft type and the market conditions given for that specific fleet, uh, we've seen everything, basically. Operators, uh, MROs that part them out, and, and, and uh, I mean, basically those two. Smaller operators or specific um, markets that these operators serve uh such as you know mining for example for the fucker 50s fucker 100 sorry uh we had a specific company that came in and they needed to do some point-to-point -point, uh um service and not a scheduled right you know uh, uh service okay and how how many years do you, does avianca typically keep an airplane before you decide to sell it well the initial Plan is not always the outcome of it. Um, we try to keep some flexibility, mm -hmm. um, uh, depending on the market conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, you 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 try and plan for what you're living at the moment mm -hmm. and what's going on at the moment in the market. And sometimes, for example, now uh, we're doing very good, so we're planning and we're ordering aircraft and we have a big backlog of aircraft right but if the if the market you know slows down you need to prepare for that so we have some flexibility there we try and keep the aircraft from 12 to 15 years mm -hmm. approximately but it'll depend and that's when you have that flexibility right. of the idea too so so the, what is the future for your business 
the future is uh, keep growing. Uh, uh, we are ordering more aircraft, a lot of more aircraft coming in, always keeping in mind the, the, uh, the, the markets that we want to serve. And we've opened uh, new routes, basically, new destinations, I mean, basically every year for the past five years or so, if not more. Uh, about three to four destinations every year. Mm. Uh, so the market is going up and up and up. And, and at least from our perspective in Latin America, which is a right. big market right now, and planning for that. Last question. About, about how many airplanes per year do you think you, your company will be retiring? We have a five-year plan. The, the shortest we have. We have a, lo a bigger backlog than that course a longer backlog than that uh, but we do a, basically a five-year plan uh, and we expect to between redeliveries and sales around 80 to 90 aircraft in that not per year I mean for right. the for five the time years. frame of five, of five years yeah thank you so much you're welcome